So, um, me working on the theories that I'm working on with the ions um, and the sun's different um, characteristics here in this anomalous area of the Nigra Scarpment e um well, hopefully it will work out. But um, at this point, I'm really discouraged. I'm discouraged by a system that ignores me, that ignores my... It's almost futile. Any kind of effort I put into anything becomes futile. Although I enjoy doing it, and I don't find it is really futile, it's just very hard for me to continue on. Uh, when I'm, everything is very negative, I have to find positivity. Like they clawed back to everything I have, everything and anything, my pension, everything. Like my senior's pension, they're clawing that back. And if they were to really pay me what they owe me, like it would be hundreds of thousands of dollars to get someone to do the same job I do on the private sector. So why is it in the, I mean public sector, in the private sector, why is it that I'm not recognized? It's because it's an unfair world and unfair to women so much so you don't even know how unfair it really is and how much you have been usurped and how much you have been kiboshed. So I suggest to you to just uh, write down those times when you feel unfairly treated. I mean, there's been some, some help, yes. Um, that, that was the wish. Uh, I would have done it, but, um, you know, but it's been great, life-saving, but at the same time, like this little walk I have every day, that's all I get. There's no vacation ever. 365, 7, 24, 7, 20, 7 days a week, 24 hours a day. Oh, non-stop, you know. And that's just not fair. I mean, you can throw pennies at a person, and that's not enough either. You know, it's got to be recognized, and it's got to be properly, because it's only going to get worse. And, you know, um, once a person goes into a nursing home, I swear, it's a year and they're dead. It doesn't matter how healthy they are going in. They're dead after a year, believe me. It's mostly a year. There's, there'll be a few token, like over hundreds, but for the most part, yeah, because of the money and the stuff. So, And uh, that's the reality that I've noticed that shouldn't be a reality because people are shirking their duties of looking after their seniors. I don't want to do that. But I do need support, and I see why people do shirk their duties, put them in nursing homes, because the stress, it needs to be um, shared. And one person doing it alone is way too much for that person. And um, the need for emotional support when a person is um, delusional or um, you know, uh, has Alzheimer's and has uh, dementia, I should say, um, the, the, they really need uh, the person, the caregiver, the wife, the, the girlfriend, they need help um, for their emotional sanity because they're dealing with a person who isn't relating on the level of normalcy that they need. And so in other words, that's all they get. It's sort of like you slip into the syndrome. There is a syndrome. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a mirroring effect. So it's not a pleasant thing. There's all that. And... Um, you know, and just to abandon a person when they're in need. I don't do that. And um, that's the last person, person, oh, you're going to, we were going to put you in a nursing home. Even a retirement home is freaking out people. Right? Because they think, oh, I'm getting old. I have like a limited time stamp on me. Yeah, we do. People can't admit it. Every day I'm getting up now thinking, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Like, this is not the way to live. You want to live moment to moment, happy as hell. <laughs> you know? And uh, share the happiness and be the happiness. But when you're constantly berated by someone who has Alzheimer's or dementia from strokes or whatever it might be, you know, that can happen to me too. I could get nasty too and I, I'd be dead in a, a year. <laughs> you know, but I don't have anyone helping me for 10 years at least, over 10 years, um, 35 years. I've been with this person and it was great at first. The person's personality changed 150%. It's like you're with another person you don't know. And uh, this trauma is, uh, it's really bad. There needs, like, I thank God for the JWs coming in every week because that's my social life. And um, they're very kind to do that. But I'm very ostracized and limited. 
as to my social net that I need. And I don't have the social net that I need as much as I could because everyone feels so, um, like I like my privacy, I like my alone time, and I like my socializing time, and I like it balanced. And I like it on my, my schedule, not forced, you know. And I think when you're in a home, you're kind of, you're going to do this now. You're going to get your, now, now, now. It's like almost uh, uh, humans in the, uh, in the nursing homes, anyway. Uh, humans uh, doing 10 at a time, PSWs, uh, you know, changing whatever, getting ready for bed. It's like an assembly line. I mean, people get used to it, but it's really inhuman. And uh, people need to slow down more. Like when a person's aged, they need to slow down, calm down, peace uh, and not rush, rush, let's go to bed, and that's it, and good night, lights out, get up the next day, same thing, and it's always that routine of sameness that can drive you, if you're a regular type that needs, like, stimulation as far as, that's why I do this, jobs, I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have my camera and photo photography, and I don't have a lot of time to do art, like I'd like to, uh, painting, uh, sculpture, other concepts, I do study tiny houses, thinking about just going on the road and living free, alone, uh, not encumbered. I feel really like that old paradigm, ball and chain, really gets, when you get older, it gets really serious. So, um, not that I want to think like that, but the truth is, that's how life has made people. Instead of seeing their value, well, I do, but also when a person's mean, it's hard for me to relate that as a healthy environment for me to live in and I have to make up my mind, what am I going to do? As Ann Landers would say, are you happy with him or without him? But Ann Landers didn't understand. Sometimes you feel duty bound, especially if a person is vulnerable. So you have to make sure that... Um, but I don't know if I'm going to have a blow up and just say goodbye. Because like, the trauma of all that's happened to me lately, it's just been too much. And uh, I don't want to be like that. I need help. I'm going to get some help. I'm going to phone some agencies. But it's like there's nothing, absolutely nothing anymore for this sort of uh, situation. And there's no groups that just kind of come in like vultures. <laughs> oh, there's another person going into a nursing home or retirement home. Let's just, you know. I, I don't mind giving, and I'm fact, that's what I'm doing, but I'm also thinking, like, I have a future too, um, a young senior, so I'd like to live, I don't know, you know, do I have a date stamp on my head by the the producing board that says, uh, you know, let's uh, do the old EMP at uh, 61 or something, who knows, like the heart attack syndrome, when my father said, you're going to have a heart attack, why would he say that? What did he know? Did he know something I don't know? Uh, it's not an easy life, no. So, um, I'm sorry. I wish I could have had a better story. But the story right now is that the issues 